What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautifully sunny day here. It's Friday afternoon, uh, mid-December in northern Illinois, and no snow. We got blue skies and sun, which is the best thing for someone like me, because I'm not a snow person. Well, I don't mind some snow stuff. I just hate shoveling, and I hate the to the bones chilling cold. So I'm not a not a big fan of that. But uh, what we got going on today is we're going to open this thing up and check what's inside. You already saw the picture. You already know the description. You already know what it is. Uh, I was out today, out and about. Got my teeth all cleaned up. No cavities. Good there. Got my hair trimmed up. Got the fade on the side. They clipped a little off the top. Good old Slim cleaned me up. And I uh, came home and this was on the doorstep. So we are going to open this thing up and check out what's inside. And to do so, we're going to use my Kershaw Launch 8. It is a automatic knife as you can see it's push button automatic not legal everywhere it's legal here if you have a Foyd card though so if you're into that check it out uh, very nice very snappy knife fits in the hand nice feels good it's lightweight classic stiletto design very slicey uh, it is a CPM 154 blade it's an aluminum chassis carbon fiber insert Honestly, the real reason I got it is because it matches my car with the gray and the carpet fiber. Don't judge me. <laughs> Does not have a deep carry pocket clip, but it will fit down in the pocket pretty nice. I really only wear this with uh, when I'm like trying to dress up something. Um, it is a, it's not super heavy, but it's not a lightweight. Um, I would say it's middle of the road, but uh, I like it. it it's a cla that classic stiletto design is just uh, you know something you would see a gentleman carry kind of thing um, anyway I like it we're gonna open up this box and see what we got inside and we'll go from there all right this is the hero 9 media mod so this is made by gopro um, other companies make pieces that hold the uh, gopro but this one specifically has a few features on it that allow it to uh, excel above and beyond those other uh, those other ones so first off as we can see here it's uh it's packaged very nice i like this box it's, uh, it's got like a gloss front and a matte top, but uh, anyway, pop this open, see what it looks like, see if there's anything on the back. It says, includes media mod for Hero 9 Black, removable windscreen, vertical mounting buckle, and thumb screw. So I guess we'll see what that's all about. Open it from the bottom. user guide we already know all about that we don't really use those thumb screw so this is the same screw that we would use on the uh, the other pieces that came with it like this this would go right in there hold the uh, media mod to something oh in fact that's what it's for it comes with another mount so we have we have a long I have a longer mount already. This is a secondary one, and then we have a short mount. So now I have two long mounts and a short mount. Good to know. I actually didn't know that it came with that. I didn't really look into it that much. I was just looking at the features of what it actually does before I purchased this thing. It looks like that's it other than the media mod itself. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here it's a very intricate box design that they have here lots of cutouts i'm sure for savings of some sort anyway don't need that so here it is here's the media mod this is uh what we're dealing with it's it's plastic it's a thick plastic it's molded pretty nice it's uh pretty sturdy though it's it's uh not a lot of play in here 
So it has the mode button on the side just like the uh, the one on the side of the actual camera. So it has a button on the inside of here that will allow you to press the mode button. It has a USB-C. So this thing charges on a USB-C internally. So you have to flip open the door and then uh, put the, the USB-C in there. So what this will do is replace that door. So we'll take that door off and it will actually slide in here. And then this one has a very similar door on the opposite side which will encase it into this thing if I can get this open there it goes so you can see here it hinges up and then you'll be able to slide the GoPro right in here and with that we have the same with the power button on the top as we do the top you know this the side one it's basically just a pass through it's going to push down on the button for you Hmm, okay, and then uh, up here we got a dual microphone. So it has it actually has two microphones inside this little thing. There's one facing front, one facing rear. So if you are walking and talking or whatever, vlogging and you're behind it, you can use the rear mic. You can flip it around and use the front mic. And then uh, to top that off, they actually have this little foam piece. It's got a little plastic slide on the inside. So it uh, should just clip right on here, hopefully. Yep, and it does. It's very, very, very simple. It just pops right on, right on the corner, pops right off. The little plastic clip has got a lot of play in it. You could feel it like spread apart, and then when you push it down, it clamps on. So there's, there's like uh, a little area for it to sit over. You can see how it's sticking out here. It kind of goes outside of that and then pops back in. As we can see here, this will pop on there like that. And that'll help reduce wind noise and just clean up the audio. On the back, we have a, a couple ports. Let's see what we got. We got three ports here. So we got a three and a half millimeter jack on the bottom. Um, looks like HDMI on the top, a mic, like a micro HDMI, and then, um, I don't know, is that a USB-C? Looks like a USB-C in the middle. So we got the three ports there. And then one of the cooler features with it, it has two cold shoe mounts. You can see one on the side, one on the top, and that will allow you to put a light on it. You can put an external monitor if you were using this for um, doing like I guess like a product photography shot or something like that where you're doing it overhead and you didn't want to use the back monitor or even front facing whatever you could have a larger screen on here to see what you're actually doing uh, I don't see myself using that but I could see myself using um, a light at some point I do have a light it's just not here right now um, that would slide right on here and then additionally you could use a external microphone so this is a Movo VXR10 I was using this on my phone for well most of this summer or pretty much all this summer um, this is what I was using to record with uh, at the track at the uh, cruise nights all that stuff I would mount this on my DJI uh, OM4 uh, there's a little rail I have on the bottom and then this would just plug in to the phone. Um, this should though be able to be mounted on here and be used. So the way a cold shoe works is it's a non-powered hot shoe. A hot shoe is what's on top of a camera and it has power going through. There's a little dimple there. Normally that's a um, power connection and it would fire your flash or anything you have that needs to be powered. You can run off a hot shoe. Cold shoe is just that minus the power. It's just a mount. So it's open on the back and it's closed on the front so this just slides in and then there's a little knob you spin down and when you tighten it up now it's creating a little clamp pressure there so now this won't come off this is a this is the mount that comes with this uh little it's i guess it's considered a shotgun microphone because it just it's uh unidirectional just wherever it's pointing is will pick up um 
I guess we'll see how this works. I'm going to see how this microphone microphone works first. If I don't like it, I'll try this one out. I'm probably going to try this one out anyway just to see a comparison. But this should then just plug right into this 3.5 millimeter jack. And I guess if I needed more cable length or something, I don't know why I would need more. But I'm wondering if I, I have an adapter because my phone is USB-C. So I used a 3.5 millimeter jack to USB-C. I'm wondering if I could plug that into this, which does confirm that middle one is a USB-C. But now I have a longer cable. I don't know why I would need it. I don't know, maybe the audio could be better that way. I'm not really sure. We'll test it out and see. But you can mount this here or on the side. The side one is the hard, there it is. The side one is exactly the same. Now this is what they call a dead cat. It's just a, it's got like a, one of these on the inside and then it has all this furriness. And when the wind goes through this, you pretty much can't hear the wind. This, this is how you get audio outside that's uh, much clearer. This cuts down all that wind noise. So this just has a hole in it and it just slides right over. Um, the issue I can see already is that the screen on the GoPro is pretty wide, or not the screen, the lens. And with this, being right there, the lens will be about right here. So with that, I could see that, you know, we would probably see the end of this, uh, this microphone. So I'm not sure what we can do there. I, obviously if we raise it up, it would get rid of that issue. If we could, if we could offset this thing, which they do make spacers where you can put like a half inch spacer. It basically, it clamps down to there and then you would clamp this on top of here to space it out. Um, Additionally, you could probably just put it on the side uh, with the lens being on the opposite side of this thing being over here. You would not, I don't think you would see that. Maybe on super, super wide or if you had the, uh, the other lenses you put on there that make it even wider, you might be able to see it. But I think you could probably run it here and there would be no difference in audio quality. Obviously, it's not a big deal because the factory put a microphone on the side here. It's not a big deal if the mic is there or not. Um, it will pick it up because it is directional. So it's just whatever you're pointing at. And it's not like two feet off the thing. And obviously, it's actually closer to the port on the side. So let me take that off here. So going over here, you can see it's even closer. Um, I don't know if that will affect anything. I don't have like a gimbal for this or anything yet. I don't know if I'm going to get one. Not really sure. Probably just do a tripod mount and just hand hold a tripod at some point. It's open on the bottom. You can see there's a big hole there. And that is going to be for the mounts because it has those two little feet that come down and uh, will come out of this thing. This doesn't make it any more like waterproof or anything like that. I don't know if it adds any robustness. Obviously it adds weight. Um, but I'm not sure if it adds any rigidity, which... I hope to not find out like if I drop this thing or something I hope to not drop this thing but if we do hopefully it protects everything a little more because this thing is a lot cheaper to replace than the GoPro all right so uh, with that I guess we should probably mount it on the GoPro and see how it fits power it up and see what we get from it as we can see we got the GoPro right here it is recording kind of video inception uh, what we're going to do is take the battery door off and put this thing on and we'll do some testing. Actually, we should just do the audio testing now because we could see the audio off of this right now. So this is the stock um, camera. So I'm just going to, I guess, hold it out arm's length. I believe this thing has two um, microphones. I Obviously, there's one in the front here. I think this little pinhole on top might be a secondary one. So we'll uh, we'll use that audio there and see how that looks. Looks. See how the audio looks. We'll see how the audio sounds. And then uh, next we'll put the, uh, the mod on. And then we'll try it with the external um, microphone and see if that changes. So this door just popped right off. So I just swung it open and then it... It just clips on so I just pulled up and then it just pops right off so it's still running it can run with the door open obviously because this replaces your door 
So I'm going to pop this guy open. And then this will slide right in here, like so. Okay, it's inserted, it's all the way seated. And we're gonna close that up. Now there's nothing that tells me that I can see that it's connected. It is added a substantial amount of weight. Like it definitely feels much, much heavier, much robust, much more robust as well. Um, I think in the menu, I have to change um, the setting to pick this up. So I'm going to turn this off. And in the menu, see if I can't find, uh, you can see it's kind of, it says it's connecting. So I'm sure it's connecting to this thing now that it recognizes it. I don't know if it'll automatically switch to this mic or not. I guess we'll see. It just went dark. It's thinking. There it goes. Okay, so it's it's up. And on the back it says media mod connected. The mic is set the front. Tap video settings to change it or set up a shortcut. So I don't know how to do that just yet. Let's see here if there's anything on here that says mod preferences, mods, media mod, standard mic. Okay, so I'm assuming, okay, so on the back it says standard mic right here. If I plug this in, I wonder if it just picks this up and uses it as an external because obviously the standard is what's built into the media mod. So if I plug this in, now standard mic just became lit up. It was grayed out before. Yeah, there we go. So now when I plug this in, if I go to standard mic, it says standard mic plus and powered mic, powered mic plus and line in. So uh, what those are, it says uh, standard mic plus increases standard non-powered mic sensitivity by 20 decibels if the audio is not loud enough. Powered mic, um, this is not a powered mic. It is, it is, uh, well, it is powered off of this. It's, it's not, it doesn't have a second out, a secondary source of power. Uh, line in, used with audio equipment other than mic, being a mixer, guitar, preamp, karaoke, etc. I don't see myself using that. Um, we'll probably use like standard mic or standard mic plus. I'm not really sure. We'll take that off for right now. Okay, I don't see anything that says um, how to turn the mods on or off. The max, oh, there's a max mod. There's a, uh, and then this thing's the media mod. Not really sure. I think it's just set as, as it is. That's just it. So, if that's the case, then right now should be the front mic picking up the audio for me. So, with this, we can compare to the standard mounted microphone that was in there. Um, this should be the front mic. Let's see if I can switch it to the back mic. Um, Turn that off. I'm assuming we should be able to just do this on the fly. There's no reason why you shouldn't. I hope you don't have to go through menus to change this stuff every time because it would be be a little just bad on design. If you had a button that you could toggle back and forth, it would be obviously a lot better. Again, I should probably be reading the instructions on this kind of stuff, but uh, I'm not. Uh, what is neat, if we look on the bottom, we can actually see the, the microphone picking it up. So that right there is my audio. Let's see how bad it gets. Yeah, you can see the, the levels there. I wonder if it changes here. No, it's about the same. It's about the same. 
uh, even with the microphone facing away from me. Okay. Let's see if there's anything inside of here where I can change the microphone. I don't see how to change it to the rear. No. I have no idea. I'll probably have to read up on that. So, I guess what we will do now is mount the microphone onto the case and then plug her in. Let's see what we get. Okay, I, as I was saying earlier, I can barely, I mean right now, I can't see this because I brushed this up, but if there was a little bit of wind or something and blew this around, there's a couple hairs that, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a couple hairs that uh, show right in here into this, the frame. Not as bad as I thought it would be though. You could probably... You could probably do something to make this like flat on the bottom. Like right there, I can't see anything. You can see I just, all I did was kind of flatten that out. A spacer still would be nice, but uh, it's not bad. I think it'll work. So with that, I'm going to go into the audio settings. And we will pick mods, standard mic standard mic plus so this is standard mic plus uh, which is not available um, without this there's only standard mic so this should be using the external microphone um, it would help if I turn that on so this should now be using this microphone so the audio you're hearing now should be off of this guy uh, we don't really need this screen. There's no wind in here. We would probably be just fine using this little shotgun as is. In fact, if I was recording, uh, I guess, vlog style and it was inside somewhere, I could just use it like this. I would most likely leave this on here. Reason being is uh, it's there's there's no downside to really having this. It might lower your decibel level just a little bit having the screen on there but doesn't seem like it'd probably be a hindrance um, we can see if it's you know facing towards me or facing away uh, the audio should change it should get much quieter if it's facing away than if it is facing towards me uh, let's see what else we can do here with the audio All right, so line in is not gonna be, and we're not a powered mic, so we'll just leave it at standard mic. In fact, I'm gonna take this back off, and uh, one thing I forgot to do is put the screen on this thing. So with that, I will put this on here, and then we can see what the audio difference is with the, uh, the little foam piece. So. This is with the standard mic setting on the GoPro with the front-facing camera, or the front-facing microphone for the, the media mod. Uh, again, I don't know how to get it to use the back mic just yet. I'll have to actually go online and look that up, or I guess I could look in the uh, user manual there, but all good. Um, so far, I like it. Again, uh, recap would be this construction is very nice. I do like it a lot. Uh, I like the accessibility here. The HDMI uh, is an out only, so that would be for a screen. I think I already talked about that. Um, not sure what the USB-C would be for. Uh, maybe charging, I'm assuming. You could just leave the battery in this and you could probably charge through that port. Um, I don't think it's for anything else. I'll have to look into that as well. But uh, that is... That was me messing up. <laughs> I hit play on the video on the back.
So anyway, overall, I like it. I hope to use it real soon. Uh, maybe tonight. Might might use it tonight. We'll see. Um, don't really know uh, what I'm going to do with it just yet. But uh, I do plan to make some more videos with it, about it, all that stuff. So uh, I guess that's it for now. And we'll say uh, this is my outro of uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.